about the Metric series, focusing on the topic sum of finite geometric sequences. What is a finite geometric sequence? Remember in the previous video, these are sequences with a last term for my katapusan. Before we proceed, let's define what geometric series is. Geometric series is the sum of geometric sequence. From the word sum, that means you have to add up all the numbers required in a geometric sequence. It simply means we have to get the sum of the given terms in a geometric sequence. When you say sum, that's the answer in addition. For example, find the sum of the first six terms of the geometric sequence 2, 4, A. In this given problem, we are asked to find the sum of the first six terms. This is a geometric sequence because there is a common ratio. Remember that we get the common ratio by dividing two consecutive terms. So if we will start with 4 or a sub 2 and divide that by a sub 1, we will get the ratio 2. Or if we divide 8, by 4 or 8 divided by 4, we also get the ratio 2. So there's a common ratio. The sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 are the first six terms. But the problem states that we need to find the sum of the first six terms. So, meaning you have to add up all the numbers from 2 up to 64. And if you add up 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64, the answer is 126. Therefore, it is the sum of the first six terms of the geometric sequence. There are several formulas in finding the sum of a geometric sequence, and you need to take down all these formulas. The first formula is A sub n is equal to A sub 1 minus A sub n times r divided by 1 minus r. Take note, you will only use this if your common ratio is not equal to 1 and your first term and the last term is given. The second formula is S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times the quantity of 1 minus R raised to n divided by 1 minus R. You will only use this if your common ratio is not equal to 1 and your first term and the common ratio is given. The third formula is S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times n. This formula will only be used if your common ratio is equal to 1. The fourth formula is S sub n equal to 0. When are you going to use this formula? You will only use this if your common ratio is equal to negative 1 and your n is even. The fifth formula is S sub n equal to A sub 1. You will use this formula if your common ratio is equal to negative 1 and your n is an odd number. Okay, let's have examples. 
Example number one says, find the sum of the first ten terms of the geometric sequence 5, 5, 5, 5, and so on. So you need to find the sum of the first ten terms. But the given here only provides this information. Your common ratio is 1 and your first term is equal to 5. So clue here is your common ratio is 1 or positive 1. So of all the 5 formulas given earlier, the best formula to answer problem number 1 is to use the third formula. Remember that in the third formula, S sub n is equal to E sub 1 times your n. You will only use this if your common ratio is equal to 1. Since R is equal to 1, yung ating formula, S sub n is equal to E sub 1 times n, you're asked to look for the sum of the first 10 terms. So your first term is 5. And your n is 10. Saan ang galing yung 10 dito? Okay? So, all you need to do is to multiply 5 times 10. So that means, the sum of the first 10 terms is 50. So, if you will add 5 plus 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 5, you can, on, you can easily solve the problem using this formula. 5 times the number of terms. Problem number 2. Find the sum of the first 12 terms of the geometric sequence 7, negative 7, 7, negative 7. Clue. Your common ratio here is negative 1 and your n is 12. Because you are asked to look for the sum of the first 12 terms. Remember that your common ratio is negative 1. And you get this by dividing two consecutive terms. Negative 7 divided by 7 is negative 1. Kaya ito nakuha. And again, saan ang galing yung n? Because you are asked to look for the first 12 terms. And 12, remember, is an even number. What's the best formula to use? The best formula to use is the fourth formula. It says S sub n is equal to 0. You are allowed to use this formula if your common ratio is equal to negative 1 and your n is even. S sub n is equal to 0, so since you're asked to look for the sum of the first 12 terms, S sub 12, okay, all you need to do is to write there the answer 0. No need to solve. So that means the sum of the first 12 terms is equal to 0. So remember, you can only use this if your common ratio is equal to negative 1 and your n is an even number. Yun, the answer is 0. Problem number 3. Find the sum of the first 13 terms of the geometric sequence 8, negative 8, 8, negative 8. So in this problem, you are asked to add up all the numbers from 8 up to the 13th term. Okay? So for the clue, your common ratio here is negative 1 and you get that by dividing two consecutive terms. So, 8, sorry, negative 8 divided by 8 is equal to negative 1. And saan nakuha yung n natin na 13? Because you're asked to look for the sum of the first 13 terms. And remember, 13 is an odd number. You have to use the fifth formula in this case. It says S sub n is equal to A sub 1. You can use this if your common ratio is equal to negative 1 and your n is an odd number. In the problem, our n is 13 and our first term is 8. So no need to solve. 
all you need to do is to write the first term. So that means if you will get the sum of the first 13 terms, your answer is A. Problem number 4. What is the sum of the first 10 terms of a geometric sequence with A sub 1 that's equal to 4? A sub 10 is equal to 78,732 and R or common ratio that's equal to 3. Glue, you have a common ratio that's equal to 3. Your A sub 1 or there is a first term that's equal to 4 and there is a plus term or A sub 10 that's equal to 78,732. What's the best formula to use? Use this formula. S sub n is equal to the quantity of A sub 1 minus A sub n times your R divided by 1 minus R. Bakit? Because your A sub 1 is already given, your last term is given, and then your common ratio is not equal to 1. So, madaling salita, meron siyang first term, meron siyang last term, at may common ratio na more than 1 or not equal to 1. How to use the formula? So, you have S sub 10 or sum of the first 10 terms is equal to the quantity of A sub 1 minus A sub n times your R divided by 1 minus R. So, in this formula, substitute na natin yung A sub 1 and that's equal to 4. Your A sub n is equal to 78,732 and your R is equal to 3. And then, sa denominator natin, 1 minus the common ratio na 3. Okay, next step, multiply natin ng 78,732 times 3. That will give us 236,000 196 minus natin kay 4 that will give us negative 236,192 and subtract din natin yung nasa denominator 1 minus 3 that will give us negative 2 so divide these two numbers negative divide by negative will give us a positive number so therefore our sum of the first 10 terms is equal to 118,096. Problem number 5. Find the sum of the first 8 terms of the geometric sequence with 2 as its first term and the common ratio is 3. Clue. May common ratio ka na which is equal to 3. You have your first term Pero hindi mo alam yung last term. What's the best formula to use? Okay, the best formula to use is S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times the quantity of 1 minus R raised to n divided by 1 minus R. Bakit? Kasi dito, kailangan mo lang si first term, meron ka nun, which is equal to 2. And my common ratio ka that's equal to 3. Okay, using the formula, S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times the quantity of 1 minus R raised to n divided by 1 minus R. We replace natin yung S sub n with S sub 8 kasi we are looking for the first sum of the first 8 terms. And since our n is equal to 8, so dito, papalitan nyo na rin yan ng 8. And then you replace A sub 1 with the value of the first term and your R with the value of your common ratio. So our S sub 8 is equal to 2 times 1 minus R raised to 8 divided by 1 minus 3. So let's solve first yung 3 raised to 8. That will give us 6,561. And then subtract 1 minus 3. That will give us negative 2. So next step is for us to subtract 1 minus 6,561 and that will give us negative 6,560. You multiply nyo kay 2 and then divide by negative 2. That will give us a sum of 6,560. 
So, kung i-add natin mula 2 hanggang sa 8 term, 4,374, i-add natin yung lahat. Mano-mano, that will give us also 6,560. I hope you learned something today. Kung nahihirapan, pwede namang ulitin panoorin ang video. And don't forget to practice